I recently received some suspicious messages on a Telegram about a potential investment opportunity, you know, a pretty spam message. But it was a little different because it was an actual person talking behind that account and it wasn't just a bot. So I'm going to share a few things that I do whenever I hear about a new website or a new way of making money to verify if it's legit or not. Literally all of this involves common sense, so here we go. Now, of course, if this was their first ever message, I would have completely ignored it as spam. But they were clever. They engaged with me in a normal human-like conversation and then posted their promotional message. Their website was called Ultimate Investments Limited. All right, I mean, the name itself sounds iffy, but it was just another crypto staking thing where you can earn daily dividends. Now, as you know, I have a lot of such projects where I have really invested my money and I am actually earning daily dividends. But here are a few things that I do whenever I visit a website. Firstly, I mean, I just look at the website itself, like is it well made or not? And nowadays, making a really good quality website is not really that difficult. But what really confirmed my suspicion about them is the uh, the customer, you know, the review segment or the testimonial segment. They just have these two reviews and they look like obvious good quality stock images. And you can actually do some reverse Google search on this as well. What I mean is simply open Google images. Now, I don't really use Google for any of my usual activities. But they have a really you know, useful thing in their images section where you can search by the image itself. I think you know that. You can do this in your phone as well, but just enable the desktop version of the site. And as soon as I click on search by image, I get a bunch of results. And I mean, we are not going to look at these similar images, but oh, look at all these results down here. I found matching results in a bunch of websites and guess what? All of them look exactly the same. I mean, look at this one and this one and this one and this one. And this one as well. There are many more, but you get the idea. They're all copying the same template from one single website design and they're just changing the name, domain and the logo. You can actually do a who is search as well. Like you can get the information about the domain registry. So you can simply go to who.is and you can just post the domain URL. So as you can see, Ultimate Investment Limited is registered under, well, they have privated their name, but we see a phone number here. That's useful because if you look at the who is pages for all the other websites, Surprise, surprise, it's the same phone number. And the city where the business is located is somewhere in Iceland. That's actually a real city, even though it looks like some random characters and alphabets together. Reykjavik? Reykjavik? Someone from that city in Iceland decided to make a bunch of different sites after creating one template. Maybe they hired a freelancer to create one template and they made a bunch of copies of it. I of course confronted the person who contacted me about this and they say, oh no, I have recovered all my investment. I'm, we are not like these fake sites. I mean, it's so desperate. Like even if they are caught, they don't want to admit that. Like they say, why are you so afraid? I mean, people lose out on interesting opportunities because of fear. Yeah, sure. Fear also keeps us in check though. There's a reason why we are cautious about everything online. Like if it seems too good to be true, it might be too good to be true. Like unless we see genuine results from there, it's difficult to believe, right? And the dozens of copies that this website has, along with the fake customer testimonials, that doesn't look good. So if at all you get a message like this with a URL, first of all, don't directly click on that URL because it could be a phishing thing. Search that domain in who is see what details come up and ask questions to that person regarding that information. See if they can answer with some level of logic that doesn't really involve playing to your emotions like don't worry, don't succumb to your emotions. Fortune favors the brave and everything. We know what happened to crypto.com. Now, of course, I don't want to scare you off just by looking at the website because there are many legitimate projects whose website look really bad. And of course, it doesn't guarantee that every time you'll be safe. But these are the preliminary things that I do to ensure that I'm not falling for an obvious spam. Yeah, let me know if you have any thoughts. I hope this was helpful.